This video will show you how to use the mBind software automation function to trigger relay boards with push notification boards. First, connect the two boards to your computer. You can do it via USB or Wi-Fi. Make sure that you have mBind software Lite or Pro version installed and run the software. Click the Devices Manager button to add the boards that were previously connected to the computer. First, we will add the push notification board. Give the board a name so it will be easier for later use. For here, I name mine my push notification board without cap first letters. Select the manufacturer national control devices. Select the device type push notification. Check the network radio bubble, and then you will see a list of Wi Fi boards with a list below. Double click the board to select it. Leave everything at its default setting and click OK. And then we'll add the relay board. Like before, give the board a name. For here, I name my, my relay board with all cap first letters. Make sure the manufacturer is National Control Devices and make sure you select the correct device type. Because it's a USB board, select the port name and select the board rate of the board. To test if the boards work within button, we will add some desktop widgets. Click Scan Channel and we'll be testing the first channel of the push notification board. Select the style for a desktop widget, and this is how the widget will appear. Check again to make sure the device is the push notification board, and click OK. And here, you will see a widget which will show the status of the board. You will see when I press the button, the light on the board will be turned on. That means the channel is closed. The widget will also turn green. When the light is off, the channel is open, and the widget will be red. This means the board works with the software. And now, we will add the relay button to test the relay board. Make sure the device type is the relay board, and make sure the action is toggle one relay, and make sure the ID is relay one. Select the style of your widget. This is how the widget will show up on your desktop. This widget will be able to control the relay board and show its status. You'll see when I click the button, the light on the board will be turned on. The button will also turn green. When I click the button again, the light will be turned off. This means the board works with the software as well. And now, we'll set up the automation function. Add a new push notification contact closure rule and give the rule a name. And here, I name mine trigger relay one. Click the setting of the push notification contact closure rule. Make sure the device is a push notification board and make sure the channel is channel one. And then click the setting of the action when status changes from open to close. Make sure the action type is a relay action and make sure the action device is a relay board. Make sure the action is turned on one relay and click OK. And then select action when status changed from close to open. Make sure the action type is a relay action and make sure the action device is a relay board. Make sure the action is turned off when relay and click OK. Now we have completed the automation function setup. After clicking OK to exit the program, you will see when I press the button on the push notification board, the relay board will be turned on. But when I let go of the button, the relay board will be turned off. 